Hello, and welcome to those who just joined us. I'm very happy to introduce Javier Mazaloup to you, who just came from Spain to talk to us about social media in Spain and different ways in which social media is used. Please welcome Javier. Hello. Okay. Good evening, good night. Um, I, I want to say hi to all my friends in Spain that are watching in the streaming. They're maybe di having dinner or, or just in front of their computers. So hi to everybody. Uh, I, don't, I mostly know all of you here. Uh, I think I could make my speech in Spanish, but I'm going to do it in English. <laughs> so um, first of all, I'm going to try to explain uh, what I'm here, to, uh, what I came from, when I'm, where I come from, okay? I'm from Spain, from Madrid, um, and five days ago, um, I posted a comment in my Facebook, in my wall, um, about what I was going to talk, okay? And um, I said that I'm a little bit tired of social media, okay? That I hate a little bit of people, it's not true, but what I, w what I wanted to do is to make a, a, bi a bit of expectation, okay? So people in Spain watch me right now. And I'm not going to talk about people, but what people do, does, or do in, in, in social media in Spain, because uh, we are like the country with the most community managers in the world, with the most social managers in the world, with the most uh, entrepreneurs in the world, but it's not true. We're in a great crisis, uh, economical crisis, and well, we're trying to to go to somewhere, but most a lot of people don't know where to go, okay? So they're in social media, and they do things, and I'm just gonna show it to you, okay? Um, my The title of my speech is Fuck Social Media, it's fuck, if you read it, it's FAQ, okay? It's frequently asked uh, questions. Um, I organize events in Spain. One of the events I organize is fucking Monday. And that's why is the, if you pronounce it, it's, it sounds a little bit uh, hot, <laughs> but it's not, it's not that, okay? Um, but I like this one better, okay? Social media winter is coming. We like a lot to talk about, to tweet about uh, TV series in Spain, uh, Game of Thrones or Fringe, uh, and we like a lot soccer. So all of my slides, you can see a lot of pictures of, of uh, TV series and soccer, okay? Um, I appreciate if you use this hashtag, of course, uh, CP Europe, but I put the other one, the fuck SM, fuck social media, okay? So people in Spain can, can watch Twitter and, and follow us. Uh, where do I come from? I, uh, this is my fifth campus party. Uh, I work in, in campus party. This is the first time I'm going to speak. Uh, I've been two times in Valencia in 2010 and 11, working for them, organizing the, this stage. Okay? So I kind of know how it, this works. Okay? I'm very proud to be here. I love campus party. I organize events, and for me, it's not an event, it's a festival. It's the, the World's uh, Geeks Festival, and I love it. Okay, so I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I've been in Campus Party Millennium in Granada. Last year, I've been in Berlin. We, I, I went in a bus with another 40 Spanish people, and we had a lot of fun. And this year, I came by plane, <laughs> and they invited me, so I'm so happy, okay? <laughs> what do I do? This is my about me, okay? You can watch it and you can go to the internet and see it, but I'm going to try to explain who I am. I just organize events. Fra five years from now, uh, that's, it, that's my life, okay? People that know me in Spain, they know that I organize events, okay? Right now, I just saw, I just saw a tweet from a friend here that uh, this is one of the... W that I'm not organizing this one, but... Uh, I organize a lot of events, okay? I organize, collaborate, and produce, because I'm going to try to explain uh, this too, but later on, okay? The difference between organizing or being a producer or being a, a collaborator in social media events, because that's one of the things that 
uh, Spain is in the top uh, also. We organize the most events, the World Congress events, and everybody's an organizer, okay? As, uh, as the same, that everybody's a community manager. So there are some of them. Uh, I was a producer of the second Gamification World Congress uh, about three months ago. Uh, well, I have my own brand called Event Top, where I organize events. I was a uh, director of a um, localization in Spain, in Madrid, uh, where we organize events. So that's my life, okay? And now we go to social media, okay? Uh, I don't know if you know who this guy is. He's the, the observer. And that's what I do in, in social media, okay? Five years ago, when I came in social media, um, I was, I was called a community manager also, but, okay? But I, I didn't really study a lot, as, as much as the people does. Um, but now uh, I observe, okay? So that is what, that is what I'm going to tell you. Um, I don't want to create enemies or anything, but um, that is what I like. What happens in social media in Spain? That a lot of people go... First, they are observers, but then they spy, okay? We are very, very, very uh, a gossip country, and we like to spy all of our friends. I don't know if it happens in every country, but I'm here to talk about Spain, okay? About the jealousy about, uh, of friends and the relationships that we have in Spain, okay? Uh, so you can see here, um, the first time you get uh, a friend in, in, in Spain, even if you don't know from, from nothing, you just look through all the albums, the pictures. Uh, if, you, if you're a boy, you just go through, through all the albums for the girl. And well, I'm going to try to explain that, okay? <coughs> and I think we live in a, I don't want to be a spoiler, okay? But I think Spain is a parallel universe, okay? We have two phases in everything we do, okay? Uh, maybe I'm a little bit too uh, critical in this, but. Uh, I think that's most of our lives, okay? We have two phases. Uh, I don't know if you watch Fringe, but there's uh, two universes. Sorry if I'm a spoiler, but, uh, <laughs> but that's what it is, okay? And, and I'm, I'm talking too much about friendships and people, but I, later on, I will t um, go to the bands, to the brands, okay? Because what we do in our uh, personal accounts is what we, what we do in our brand accounts or professional accounts. First, Fox about uh, social media in Spain, about community managers. If you go to most of the Spanish bios of Twitter, Twitter bios, you can, uh, this is like the career of a community manager in Spain, okay? Even if they don't study anything or they just go to a 20 hours uh, expert of social media, uh, course or anything like that, okay? Uh, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of courses that are called expert in social media, okay? 20 hours and you are expert in social media. And I am totally disagree with that because uh, all my life what I have done, I, uh, I studied very little, okay? Because my English, for example, I live one year in the United States. You can see my American accent, but I never studied English. I just, from the experience to live there, I just learned English. And from the experience of life is what I'm uh, doing all my life, okay? I worked 10 years in a bank, and now I organize events. But from the first day I, I organized an event, I was not saying that I was the best organizer. Now I can say it, okay? So you can hire me. But, <laughs> but <laughs> if, if, if there's, there's a, a saying that if you don't sell you, someone is going to sell you, so it's better to sell you yourself, okay? So I'm the best organizer. Um, so this is in Spain, okay? Five years ago, six years ago, economical crisis. So a lot of people, no job, okay? Uh, they found community manager, management, and they studied a little bit, or they, like me, I found a lot of things in the internet, uh, but I, I, I was coming from a bank, okay? I, I couldn't call myself a community manager, but, um, well, looking a lot in the internet, you can learn or go into to courses uh, with lessons of people that know, but there are a lot of people that don't even go do that, and they go to, uh, to their Twitter bio, 
and say, okay, now I'm a community manager because I have uh, a thousand of followers, okay? Now I'm a community manager, I'm ready to, to, to work in an agency. We have a lot of agency, we are top number in Spain, agency, so social media agencies also. So we are top in everything, even in soccer, and we are very proud of that. And this is the normal career in a Twitter bio in Spain. You, first you don't have a job, then you are a community manager, there you are a social manager. From a year ago, there are thousands of social media strategies. I don't know what they studied that for. I don't know what they studied. Mm, I would like somebody here uh, to ask, mm, that qu uh, answer that question okay, later on. And the, the most of the people in Spain, <laughs> they say they are in love with social media. Okay? They are patient, they have passion with social media. I don't know what, if they earn money with that, but they are in love with social media, okay? But maybe their account, their bank account is uh, zero, okay? So this is the normal career in Spain. They are mostly the 95% of the community managers, I think they are like that. <coughs> the presence of social media in Spain, the social media strategies, I have a lot of friends that have that bio Twitter and I can see that not, they are not playing on Facebook, but almost, okay? Most of the day, some are freelance, some work in agencies. And you can say that now in Spain, with the balloon that we have work, uh, created in social media, uh, you receive a lot of no, uh, thousands of notifications every day of friends just to play some app or to play some game or anything when you think they are working, okay? And I think this is the future. If you can uh, turn up the volume, please. When we were young, the internet was f***ing awesome. You could get away with anything in those days. I built an app that did absolutely nothing. When I told people I was a community manager, they really didn't understand what I was doing. People talked a lot about things going viral. But I cannot believe for one minute that no one figured out that the whole damn thing was rigged. Mira, chequea esto. El hombre de los tatuajes me dijo que era un guerrero pacífico. Pero cuando lo escaneé, me mandó directo a un video de un gato vomitando. My friend Lisa shared everything she was eating. Like, who cared? It's a f***ing donut. Well, I, I posted funny photos all the time. The best one was when she fell flat on his face, passed out at this dubstep show. You know I lost my job because of that photo. Oh, so. you waste case. You know, I never really listed my relationship status, just in case it didn't work out. You douchebag. Well, um, I don't know if you, if you think the same, but we are, all, we are also top one in hipsters, okay? And you can watch these old people, they were community managers in, in this time, and now they, they just are hipsters, and that's how they look in 50 years from now, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about Facebook. It's my, uh, I don't like it, okay? So I'm gonna, it's my favorite uh, social network to talk about because it's where I can find most of the uh, fails, uh, personal and professional, okay? Because you can see that I'm talking a lot about friends, uh, but I wanted to, to, to go to the brands, okay? But I will go. So Facebook. This is a friend of, in Facebook, okay? I don't know if you know them. This is Mourinho and Casillas. Okay, all the pictures you can see in Facebook are like that. Yes or no? Okay, but then you go backwards, and you go backstage, okay? And they hate each other, okay? Uh, they are really, really, really happy, okay? But this guy in the middle just ruined the life of this guy, but they are so happy because they, they just won a title three years ago. Uh, that you can resume Facebook friendship uh, this way, okay? You're always happy, you're always with friends, but 
Um, well, there are enemies now, so I can resume Facebook like this, okay? And this is what Casillas did when uh, Mourinho left uh, Real Madrid. Now another coach is, another trainer is in Spain, in Madrid, and happens the same, but this is what he did when Mourinho uh, left Spain. And this is what we do when we unfollow or we just not friend of somebody. Uh, we are in front of the computer and we think we are um, like, like this, okay? We, the other person, the person that you don't follow, maybe you think they, they are crying, but they are not never cry, they are never crying, okay? First thing is that it's so, so soft that the other person maybe is like this when you think that they are unhappy, okay? I don't like Facebook. The only thing I use Facebook is, is, is for this, okay? I don't have an agenda anymore, a diary. So this is the, I think uh, Facebook is helping people remember all the birthdays since 2004. This is my opinion, okay? I love Facebook. It's the only place I can talk to a wall and not look like an idiot, okay? <coughs> I'm sorry if... <laughs> uh, <laughs> You don't like it, but <laughs> that's a real thing, okay? And I'm not sure if I hate Facebook or everybody that I know. I don't hate any, everybody that I know. I, I, I went to a lot of events in Spain. I know a lot of people. And maybe now I have enemies, everybody have enemies. But I don't hate people. I just, uh, I just have these opinions and I think uh, in Spain, when you when you are uh, using a personal account, you can do whatever you want. But, but when you go to a brand account, um, you can you cannot sell them the brand that um, you are very original, you're very creative, and you are always doing the same. Uh, for example, uh, what do the communities in Spain do? They call their, they send a message to the other community and say, I'm gonna, uh, I have a new campaign, okay? Please, can you just uh, like my, my picture, my campaign, my post on Facebook? The other one call the other one, the other one call the other one, and then they call the brand and say, hey, we have 25 likes in one minute, okay? And uh, <laughs> then they say, we are great, we are very, very, very original and very creative. But I don't think it's like that, okay? Brands don't have friends. They, have only fr they only have fans. And a fan is not a client, okay? But we send... Uh, there, are, there are thousands of uh, pages in Spain that are still... They have a, pro a friend profile, okay? But you can post a lot of uh, posts write a lot of posts and, and tweet them or put them on Facebook, but there are still a lot, a lot, a lot of, of, of fan pages that are not fan pages that aren't friends, okay? They have a, a friend. Twitter is the one that I like most, okay? It's my life, my life is on Twitter, and I'm gonna try to explain how we use Twitter and how the brands use Twitter. I was lucky uh, three, four, months ago, I went to the Twitter headquarters in Dub Dublin, and I talked to one of the managers there and about Spanish people, okay, okay about Twitter. We think uh, in Spain, uh, you can see every day tweets about a, a, a guru, okay, uh, saying, I opened my uh, Twitter account, the first one in the world. Big applause. Bien, bien. <laughs> They, okay, you want, here is a, is a prize for you. Or you, they're always um, sending them emails. Um, please verify my account. I'm very famous. I have a lot of um, uh, followers. But if I have, uh, to have a lot of followers in Twitter is like to have a lot of money in Monopoly. Okay? It's not for nothing. It, it doesn't cost, <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> okay? So this is what they told me there. And that is what I think also. Or people that work or are directors in a social media agency that they write like 70 or 80 or 100 tweets a day, 
They have more than 150,000 uh, tweets. Um, they tweet things like, social media is shit. They, it's nothing if you get paid to tweet uh, social shit. Well, okay, you earn money with social media, but we are always criticizing everybody, okay? And I'm doing it also. But that's in Spain. Um, we are in Spain, almost everybody in Spain is the founder of Twitter, okay? But most of the people don't know the name of the three founders, okay? I was lucky to be in uh, the Twitter headquarters and I can saw the first Twitter, okay? The first Twitter by Jack Dorsey is just setting up my Twitter. Uh, I have a friend, Miki, in Spain, that in a campus party in Valencia three years ago, it, uh, he saw this tweet also, but if you ask a lot of people in Spain, they don't even know what it is, okay? But we are the founders of Twitter. We are the founders, the, owner, the owners, and we think that Twitter is us because we know how to tweet. We are the best ones and all this, okay? Crisis. I'm going to talk a, a little bit about brand crisis. This is, a, this is a, do you know Heineken, okay? This is a party, a bull party. I don't like bulls, but uh, it happens like a week ago in Spain. It's a bull party in Spain. And someone uh, tweet this picture, and already thousands of communities or people start to talk about, uh, uh, criticize this brand. But what they don't know is that this picture, the brand doesn't have anything to know about this, this uh, poster, okay? Maybe if you just uh, look a little bit and you investigate, you can know that Maybe the one that made the poster have a friend that have a bar that is sponsoring the the party, and they put that brand there without any permission. But it's not a brand fault, okay? But um, it happens every day. In, when we see a little bit, a little, a little fail of a brand, we already go for for the community manager, and most of the time the community manager gets shocked and he goes like five or six hours without tweeting because. It's a, it's a mess, okay? But we like, we like to, make, to generate crisis, okay? We, we always, and we generate a crisis and then we go and post and write a post and to, see the f to be the first one to, to write it, to get a lot of retweet. So that's what we do, okay? I mean, I'm not, I, don't, I don't really like it, but it, it's, it's what happened. This guy is one of my, my idols, okay? Everybody hates him in Spain. They, they, we say he's very bad, okay? But he played like more than a hundred uh, games with the uh, Spanish uh, soccer team. Um, and this is what we are supposed to do and the brands and all the people that talk and make speeches and mm, go for and masters and master classes and they say, what you have to do in social media is to start listening, okay? But then you have to talk, but no, they shout, okay? They, when they have an, you know, an opportunity, they shout and shout and shout, okay? And this guy, we say he's a bad player, but he scores in every final from the Spanish soccer team and he earns a lot of money and mm, I think he, well, he, he doesn't even have a Twitter okay, account, but he's a, one of the most criticized men in, the, in Spain, okay? But uh, what, I wanted to do, what I wanted to say is this. Most of the community managers, they listen because they go to a course and they say, you're a expert, but when they have the occasion, they just shout and shout and shout. And this is very, very, very common in not community managers, but gurus, okay? But gurus with a thousand uh, followers, that you're a guru in Spain or an influencer, if you have a thousand followers, okay? And if you talk to them, most of the time you have the sensation or the feeling that they are saying this, okay? Unless you have an IQ higher than mine, I'm not interested in what you think, okay? It's a, it's a pity, but it's, it's like that. I'm going to another social network that I like, Instagram. Uh, what is the most common picture in Instagram? Instagram is good for brands, but for personal uh, using, it's to just to share your life. If you want to follow me, follow me. But if you 
you don't want to follow me, just don't follow me, okay? But don't criticize me for everything I do, or if I go on holidays, or if I go on my vacation, okay? Just, just unfollow me or whatever, okay? So, in personal use, he's not looking, but it's his cat, okay? What, where do you get the more likes in Instagram? With cats and with feet. This is a photo from here, okay? But in Spain, this summer, Somebody say, I'm going to go against the world, okay? So I'm going to ask everybody, all the people, to not uh, take picture of the, uh, their feet, okay? And, okay, that's, but that's okay for me, okay? Maybe you can do it or maybe you can't. Uh, but when an agency or a brand is doing this, I think they are thinking this, okay? You know that you're not half as clever as you think, but most of the people that is watching that or they are being infected by their hashtag in their own um, personal accounts or their brand accounts, they think this. That it still makes me twice as clever as you. This is a war against agencies and communities, and, but this is what happens. I'm, uh, I'm here to show you this, and uh, this is what happens. Events. As I told you, everybody is an organizer in Spain, everybody. And this is what I think from myself, okay? From the experience, from my life, my working life. I think sometimes we have to get really high to see how small we are. I want to talk about this picture, about this event. For me, this was the biggest event of this year, okay? It was this year or last year? This year, no? Last? Last year? Sorry, this? Last? This? Last? This? Last? Last, okay, but um, 95 of the population of Spain knew a uh, new world, new word that day. Well, two words: branded content, okay, because nobody studied marketing to be a community manager, and they they learn words by when happen when things happen. Okay, Red Bull, it was the 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 biggest campaign without. Uh, of branded content, okay? But that day, a lot of Spanish people knew what branded content means. And now, everybody talk about branded content. A, pl a big applause. <coughs> okay, organizer. I work in this, so I get very pissed when I see a lot of people that are going to organize events. And I, I would just like to explain then the difference, okay? Your organizer, is just, if, you, if you spend your money or your time in that event for a brand uh, that wants to connect with people and, have, and make them working with uh, their clients, you're a collaborator if you work without money because you want, and you're a producer if you are higher and you earn money, okay? So there are a lot, a lot, a lot of Twitter buyers in Spain that says, I am an organizer. Okay, but I don't think so, but it's just to, to let people think about it and, and see if they change their <laughs> Twitter bias, okay? Events in social media. I work in that, and I think they are very important because the final, uh, you, can, you can communicate a lot in social networks, but the, I think the people are the real, they are the clients, of course, and are the really important thing in an event, okay? Because it's where the brand can communi communi communicate with the people, with the client. And uh, from two weeks from now, I saw two posts in Spain about one it was one, well, two, two organizers, they can call organizers. I don't know if they're money or no organizing the, their events. But the, um, they were saying, one of them was, uh, was saying, don't go to events. You're not going to learn anything. Nobody's going to know about you. Nobody's going to think about you next year. Well, I made all my business in, in, in events. Uh, I organized a lot of events, but I, in, the, in the last five years, I've been uh, in more than 300, 350 events. And all the people that I know, or all the people that I make business with, just people and brands, uh, I know them or I knew them in events, so I recommend to go to events. And the other post said that how to, um, 
how to be a trending topic in Twitter with your speech. Okay? Um, I have here two persons that don't want to come to the States, but I'm going to try to explain what a trending topic is, okay? Because we always say we are a trending topic. That's like, like what we sell in the, in the social agencies, in the um, social media agencies, is, that, is what we s they sold to the brands. You're going to be trending topic in a minute, in 10 minutes, in 15 minutes. What they don't know is they buy followers, they buy uh, retweets, um, and be a trending uh, it's nothing, okay? It's, you are trending in during five, ten minutes, but the next two hours or the next three hours, nobody knows about what d you did because a lot of retweets and a lot of uh, followers are, are, bu are, are buying, okay? Oh, ten minutes. Uh, ten minutes, right? <laughs> okay. So, um, what I want to talk about that part of events is that... Um, they are very expensive, okay? The people who, who work in an event is, uh, work a lot, and the time, the things are expensive, and we like to criticize all the events. And now I'm going to talk about another part of the events that we like a lot. Well, first, I want to make a break, just one minute. It's not a break uh, talking. I just want to say hi to one, pers to one guy that is watching us, uh, for me, is the, the best campus setup that is in the world, okay? Uh, he couldn't come today to, to this campus party. It's Esteban Rodrigo. He's a, he has more than 65 years old. Uh, he's been in more than 15 campus party. Last year, he came with us in a bus in a 33 hours trip to Berlin. And, well, I would, I would like to have an applause for him, if you can, please, because he's watching us, okay? I learned... I learned a lot about him because he don't presume of anything in his life, and he, every day he he gives a lesson to a lot of people. Okay, and two other people from Campus Party that is not that are not here. One is Belinda, is one of uh, the founders of Campus Party. I just want to say hi, and the other one, uh, Veronica Bernabeu Beritu. I don't know if you know her. The, maybe you don't. Okay, but. She's one of, she's like you, okay, but for the whole world in Campus Party, for Mexico, for Spain. So, and they help me a lot in the events. So, I just want to uh, say hi to them, okay? And the final thing, party. We like to party in Spain. We are the top one party uh, country. And, but when we go to a party, we like to criti criticize also. Um, I saw this uh, poster in London yesterday. I know there's alcohol no per permitted here in Campus Party, only in, this, in the speaker's lounge. <laughs> but <laughs> what, it says <laughs> what it says there is, because good story ever started, because no good story ever started with a salad, okay? In Spain, we are top one uh, worldwide in bars, okay? We have the most bars in Spain. That we are always partying, okay? And lo lot of lot of business. We are not alcoholics, right? Okay? We just can't get a, a with a beer. You just can't get a friend or make a friend or talk to a brand or make business. But either in prof in personal and professional, we like to to go to bars and to party. But when you are home watching somebody partying. That's a time for to criticize. I, I, I see a lot of people. When you are not invited to a party, wow, well, the, the, the Twitter is like a bomb, okay? Can you turn the volume up, please? Please? Maximum <laughs> volume, okay? This is a party for a lot of people in Spain. Then I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Well, it's true that I fart, but I wouldn't call myself a farter. I'm a social farter. I really only do it when I'm out with my friends that fart. We hang out, we drink, we dance. Just have some fun being together. Farting. Sometimes I'll use farting as an excuse to meet a guy. Do you want to go outside for a fart? Yeah. We talk. We fart. 
just because I fart. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you understand what I want to say. Is that if you sell uh, a party to a, to a brand, you cannot invite always the same people, okay? Because they're going to talk to the same people. They are going to be farting all the time, not talking about your brand. They are going to be talking about them, what they are going to do the day, the day, to, uh, to the day after. Um, okay? That's what I believe, I think about this, and this video I think is um, awesome for, for the explanation. This is another party. This is Ushuaia Hotel in Ibiza. We are best, the best island in the world for partying, the best hotel in the world for partying, and we do, uh, we do these things okay. When we have a, a base, we know how to do things great. Okay, we are the best in Twitter when we have a, a good base. But when we have to work a brand that is not in social media or a bar, uh, uh, any store that is not in social media, and we have to work and really have an strategy to make, I think community managers, they don't work very much. Okay? But Ushuaia and other hotels, for example, we are the first country to have a social hotel. I love this hotel. I want to go to this hotel. Okay, I think the agency that make this video know exactly, and the, the hotel know exactly what they want. They are looking for clients. They are not looking for the friends of their of their community manager. I want to go there. And another thing that we are the best. Sorry, <laughs> but I think <laughs> we are the best. Why? Because it, w it is a base. When I went to the Twitter headquarters, they told us that when Spain won the, the World Championship, um, the final, we were like, it was a record. It was a top record in Spain about tweeting, about a thousand of millions of tweets in every second, okay? We are good for that. When we like that, we, we are passionate, but when we don't like it, we don't, I think we don't really work or do, we don't really study for it and don't make a good strategy. We say we are creative, we are very originals in everything, but everybody make the same contest. Uh, if you say, if you like my picture, I'm gonna give you an iPad or that's always the same, okay? But this is things that we really do good. and. Just to say bye, I, wanna you, I want you to watch a video. Yo estaba cagado. La verdad. O sea, yo, yo veía que el partido se iba a penaltis. Y Vicente me dice, vete pensando en los penaltis. Le tenía el balón Jesús Navas, que se hace una carrera de 30 metros. Bueno, yo el balón hacia, hacia arriba, que pasó el medio campo y hay un, como una especie de rebote. Y yo tal y como me llega, pues le doy de tacón a, a Sesc. Yo se la paso a Jesús. Y veo a Torre un poco abierto en banda, que es el que recibe. Y veo a Andrés que hace un desmarque a la espalda del lateral de ellos. Y el no llega y, y lo rechaza. Wow. Y, y lo rechaza. Me cayó a mí y al ver a Andrés allí, pues, pues no digo que fue fácil, pero Andrés estaba en una buena posición a mí en diagonal para darle el balón. Se para todo y, y solo estamos yo y el balón. Como cuando ves un, una imagen en cámara lenta, pues para mí fue así. 
es difícil escuchar el silencio, ¿no? pero yo en ese momento escuché el silencio y sabía que, que ese balón iba adentro. Intenta irse ese Manaba, vamos que se le marca Torres, el mundo contra Navas que tiene ahí velocidad para ir, consigue enviar la pelota para el tacón de Iniesta, llega Cés, aparece de nuevo Navas que se desfonda, entrega el balón para Fernando Torres, prepara el centro, la pide Iniesta, el rechace para Cés, se para Iniesta, no hay fuera de juego, vamos Iniesta. Okay, <laughs> what I wanted to show is that we are passionate, okay, in Spain, we do things that we fail, <laughs> we like to criticize a lot, but uh, we want, we like to, when we have s something good, we are good, so please, make things good or better than we do, okay? Um, I, I like this, okay? Via Campusero, what my finish is, my end of the speech is like this, never miss a par campus party. You can meet a lot of people, brands, pe uh, people to make business with, and know a lot of speakers that come from all the world, and that is a very important thing for your life, just thinking your life, okay? Thank you, gracias, that's the end. <laughs> Thank you very much, Javier, for a really entertaining presentation. We, we have some time for the questions. Are there any questions in the audience, please? Oh, I'll, I'll go, yeah. Hi, Javier. Uh, Hello. Esteban Rodrigo, uh, and tell me uh, in, in Twitter, uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, all, all of us uh, with uh, uh, I'm happy and remember uh, uh, him. Uh, I have a, a question. Uh, I would like to, to know uh, your opinion about uh, uh, another uh, network, uh, social network. It is uh, Yelp. Uh, uh, I would like <laughs> to, to know your opinion and the use in, in Spain. Thank you. I really don't know very much about it, but uh, I use Foursquare from the first day. <laughs> okay. And I think is I'm a I'm a heavy yeah yeah <laughs> I say it like everybody, and um, um, I like Foursquare so I use Foursquare. I think when somebody, when we have a friend or a community manager that works in in somewhere, we already we try to help him. Okay, that's I think that what happens with Yelp in Spain maybe I don't know a lot of about it. Okay, but they are trying. You, you just trying. Maybe they can go over Foursquare someday, but I don't have anything against. Okay, I just I don't know it. I don't know the app very good, but it's like Foursquare, no? I think. <laughs> no? Well, it want to be, I think. Do you know where Yelp is from? Is this the account America? Is this American? Okay. <laughs> Hello, Javi. Hello. Uh, nice speech. Thank um, you. Very funny. Uh, no I have one question. Uh, which uh, social networks do you think are more interesting for the brands and why? Well, the, if you go to any speech in Spain, the, we always say the same. Not all the brands have to be in all the social networks, okay? If you are, uh, if you are, uh, you work in a, an agency or anything, you just have to, to to investigate a little bit and and see where the brand can be, okay? I I only talk about Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Foursquare or Yelp now, but there are Google Plus, Google Plus, Plus. Uh, in Spain we don't use it very much, even that after day one of existing, there were people giving speeches about it, but, um, well, this, YouTube, 20, yeah, 20, I like 20, <laughs> 20 a lot, yeah, but yeah, just, you can, pr well, there's a lot of proof and tries and all the other brands or other communities already try with that brand in, in that social network, so um, you can be, well, depend of the message you want to communicate to the to your client, YouTube is a, um, videos are very great for brands because they communicate uh, anything in two seconds and you can be very creative or origi original. Uh, but 
you know, we know there are a lot of social networks, but in Spain, the ones that, that work, Pinterest, well, mm, the ones that I talk about it here, I don't know. It depends on the, uh, the brand. Are there any more questions? Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to ask you if you think there's still uh, space for new social networks or platforms to yeah, I'm sure. appear. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. There's a ba big balloon, but uh, the 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 Instagram two years ago didn't exist. Okay, and one year ago, uh, Facebook uh, paid a billion US dollars. So. Um, I think there are niches already, uh, but I don't know. I don't know which one because if I know, I I would create it. Okay, but there are a lot of entrepreneurs that they are well, the founders of the Twitter or Facebook or and other social networks. They are always uh, creating new things. Uh, now the the mobile mobile payment and and all these um, apps about the localization and. I think there are there is a space for new social networks, but uh, maybe there is no more space for community managers. Okay, <laughs> at least in Spain. Thank you. Do we have any more questions? Hi, Javi. Hi. How do you think will be the correct career of people working in social media? How to, I think, convert unemployment people in people working in anything is written in Spain? Well, how to do it properly? Yeah, it's a big discussion every day in Spain because journalists uh, convert to social media, uh, people from marketing, people from communication. Um, I don't, it's not the study, okay? It's the passion and the, the really hours you you work, okay? I think, okay, it's the passion and the, the work. And not, for, not just for this, that's, it's for everything, okay? And there is not, there's not yet a career. There are masters and they, they cost a lot of money. Mm, but the experience, uh, we are in Spain, we are ex experts when Facebook um, um, shows their new uh, um, laws. At second, at the at 10 minutes uh, later, uh, there are 10 or 20 uh, experts of Facebook that already has a post in their blog, but they don't know, they, they, didn't, even, they didn't even try it, okay? So I think the practice is more than the, than the career, okay? And like in everything in life, okay? So what I'm, my speech is not what you have to study, but wait at least a year practicing until you start making uh, master classes or speeches in everywhere talking about uh, recent social networks or the last uh, loss of Facebook or whatever 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 social network um, that's my opinion okay the experience more than than the career of course you have to study or just be very close to someone that knows but the experience and the day by day is what uh, life is, I think. Thank you. Sorry if I bore you. Okay. Anybody else? I have a quick question. I'd like to know how much do you think what you said about social media in Spain applies to other countries? And do you, can you give any examples of countries where it is used in a better way? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know, but I think here they do a bit. Where are you from? Lithuania. <laughs> Where? Lithuania. 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 Yeah. I think they do it great there. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know. I think, well, um, here in the UK and in Dublin, there are a lot of people working in social media and Twitter and Facebook. The companies are here. And maybe when I talk to Twitter people that work in Dublin, well, th what they say in, that in Spain, there are not much people uh, prepare to work in social media b because they don't study us. But I don't know how other countries, well, for, for sure, United States, and, but I don't, I don't really know. I, I live in Spain, and it's enough for that to just to study all the communities that we are. You know? <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you very much again for your presentation. Thank you. Please give a round of applause to Javier.
Thank you for coming. That's the end of our program for today, but I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning. We have talks on our themes of social media, education 2.0, e-commerce, and big data running throughout the day. Thank you. <laughs>